Greetings from wherever you are. My name is Janet Kiriswa. Thank you so much for the viewing and the feedback from the PR Guru Show. Thank you to the Wala Production. Now, today it's a continuation of the previous part one. We were talking about employee relations and how important it is to the organization. So I was breaking down the five points and we just broke down point number one in part one. Now, remember the points were set the tone from day one, provide positive feedback. Number three is improve communication. Number four, offer career development and number five help the employee be happy all right now i want us to go to point number two because we had already set the tone from day one now point number two is provide positive feedback yes and you know positivity is key do not always do not always look at the negative and that is why i said i know business is business you know times Working times are working times. And you know, there's some type of faces we have to put, some type of, but let's be flexible. Come on, we are human, okay? Now, remember, your employees are human. They are prone to make mistakes. They are prone not to please you. And people are not the same. We have different employee characters, okay? Why don't you get joy from that? And direct their kind of characters to a way they can perform better. Just be positive. Fine. You can have Irene who is always so loud and always so, you, she, she will laugh and you will hear it in your department as a director. Do not be angry and, and think Irene is wasting time laughing. <laughs> it's her personality. Okay. She is qualified, but that is her personality. You will find maybe Hillary is so quiet, but he's the one who always is fishy, 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 fishy. When you find him in the office making some jokes and everything, that is his personality. Do not get angry. But there's a way you can use now their personality to, to get the value out of your organization. Okay. Now, provide positive feedback. How do you do that? Focus so much on their positivity. Yeah, assume the negative. Focus so much on, on your positivity. And I always say, you know, if we were to be judged from long time ago, some of us will not be here because we've been given chances in life by so many people you can't believe. That's why we are where we are. Why don't you be the person to give chances to people? They will appreciate it one time. Now, focus on evaluating employee performance and bring the feedback in a positive way rather than punish, you know, unpaid leave, firing, warning letter, or insulting. Now, if you want bad publicity, do you know nowadays you cannot escape from it? Because there are recordings everywhere. Please, and I urge everyone in an organization, do not use insulting words. Do not even assault anybody. Do not even punish anybody in a way that is not related to the labor laws. Do not just fire just because you feel you have the organization. Yes, you might have it, but you also have an employee who is guided by the labor laws of, of the country. We will be speaking about that much later because it comes in play in the employee relations. So give posit positive feedbacks. Now, tell employees more of what they are doing well. Yeah, when you're in a meeting and you feel like you've never mentioned Jane, you've always, you're always mentioning Ken, you're always mentioning Samita, you're always mentioning someone else, try at least today, mention that person you've never mentioned. You know, they'll stay woke. They'll be like, what? Ana ni kumbukanga. Ameta mina kumbukwa. That person will stay woke the rest of the meeting. <laughs> like, for example, let me give you an example. Have you been in a meeting and you have said for long until the employee calls uh, or, or the person, the speaker calls out your name? Like Janet, you know, Janet, I saw you, you know, maybe your thoughts were somewhere, but because he or she has mentioned you, you will stay woke the rest of the meeting. <laughs> nice. Now, tell employees, I've told you, tell them more of what they are doing good than more of what they are doing but I uh, look at your meetings. How do you get to tell them this? Avoid calling employee to your offices for punishment, for meetings. Let me tell you, the rest of the employees always know, hey, that's a disciplinary case. 
huyo ah leo sikupoa kwake they know they they will learn you the ceo like no, no one's business they will learn you as a manager like no man's business when you call so and so to an office alone eh don't do that now what you do deliver these things when you are in your meetings your organization might be having weekly meetings on mondays or any day you might be having morning glory every morning okay you might be having meetings at some point in the afternoon whichever day you choose but always deliver such the things that you you feel like you need to deliver deliver them deliver when them. all the employees are around okay now tell let them know how valuable they are you know let them know how valuable they are and i told you be very fast to learn the skills of these employees some employees can be as loud as galgalo but they are very good somewhere that you don't even know now say thank you you know thank you so much the week has been running so well there is a lot of teamwork and i really applaud that you know support yeah? say people have been working under supervision under low supervision and they are doing well you know when you say that and then not someone creativity that someone put somewhere you see talk about that before now you come and unleash the things that you feel need to be done better now you come and say it in a way they are negative things but you come and say please let's avoid doing a b c d you see the delivery is comes in a positive way other than jen why did you do that you know jen i don't entertain such people in the organization eh willis why did you do this no don't be that way just follow the the, the first way that i've shown you okay start with the positives and then go to the negatives but in a good way don't mention any name nice publicly recognize them how do you publicly recognize them just like i've said if you've never mentioned you've been mentioning ken and samita and you've never mentioned orodi make sure you do mention orodi that day when they feel they ha- they hear their names they're like wow okay nice the rest of the day they'll be very sharp now do this and my friend you will see positivity so positive feedback all the time all right and for example maybe you are the one the ceo you discover that when you enter somewhere employees are going back to their desks address that too tell them i'm human when you're doing something when i come to the office stop running yeah tell them i'm not preso you know i am not uh, I, I, i don't have a gun i'm just coming to to interact with you guys so such that when you walk to an organization if there was a discussion going on they discuss it very well of course they will acknowledge you boss mambo you see also encourage those boss mambo yes mzito uh, tukopoa hiyo kugota in the office don't be always strict you expect people to to always heshima uh, heshima of course they respect you but try and listen flex there's no harm in that okay now the third point is improve communication you might say i've tackled it but there is a way of communication there's a form of communication and that's why i told you pr is wide now number one, memos and emails sometimes most people don't get to read emails but if you create a culture that emails and memos are always what you need to see when you to, what you need to do then make sure they are there in their emails before 8 in the morning and before 5 before they leave all right always ensure you put them so that in the morning they know the first thing is email and then in the evening before they leave it's email then don't expect an employee you send an email to respond to an email he or she received between 5 and 8 am no because people have different issues take for example i'm a mother i go home from 5 to the next day in the morning i am very busy i have kids you know i have this big kid also i have a family I'm, i have to cook i have to do all this so sometimes checking on the emails i'm not giving an excuse but just picture yourself okay to avoid disappointments if it is memos and emails then do it within working hours and then learn to use cards learn to use uh, maybe you know there are those board i don't know how to put it but there are some kind of board that you can use to put some information such that when an, an employee is coming to the organization passing by the administration looks at the board reads what is happening today what is happening who has a birthday 
or who was bereaved so we need to contribute some money you see such kind of things now look at this make sure the way of communication is visible number one either through the meetings that we spoke about relay your communication information number two you can always ensure you use accessible approaches like uh, seeking guidance or also create uh, arising issues and give solutions by addressing them maybe through departmental heads so the departmental heads pass the information to the rest of the team now have regular company meetings we've spoken about them in the previous point in involve employee in goal settings i talked about this previously that in, in involving employees in goal settings will always make them feel part and parcel of it and always eager to achieve now other ways of communication if it is a birthday please send a birthday card to the desk of this employee that is celebrating the birthday Okay, if it is an anniversary, send a card to this employee that is celebrating an anniversary up at a desk. All right. Now, sometimes you'll find that some employees will ask for off days during their anniversaries or during their birthdays. You can always time. And that is why PROs are there in your organization. We make things exciting. We, we are flexible enough to know, okay, so Richard will not be there tomorrow yet. It's his birthday. Why can't we do the birthday today? Nice? Or... Do we know someone? Do they have a birthday somewhere? Why don't we appear at that place and surprise Richard? There are so many ways of communication. And these ways of communication, we've talked about birthdays and anniversaries. We have bereavement, maybe visiting that family and everything. And we also have the organization's communication structures. Like today, we are going to for team building this side, this side, and this side. You can have a way of communicating within a week. Make the calendar of the organization. You can have a calendar that is suited to your organization. Like we know, yes, that this day is Madaraka Day. But for us, this day is for ABCD, okay? Nice. The other thing is uh, offer transparency. Always be transparent on how the organization is performing, how the organization is doing. And if the employees get that from the manager, then they will also be transparent. They will be honest and it brings trust within the organization. And trust me, it brings 94% of your employees to a happier level when you're transparent of how things are going. Now, I had talked about a certain point where you use some tactics to, to issue disciplinary cases. Like number one, you send people on unpaid leave. You give people warning letters. You also punish some by just firing them. You might want to be to change tactic. I'm not saying that people cannot be warned. They can be warned. But how many warnings do you give? All right, don't give warnings out of emotions. Now, how do you, how do, you do your disciplinary, uh, what do you consider when you're, when you're disciplining this employee? Number one, always have a panel that deals with discipline. A very flexible panel. Do not just choose strict people, specific, no, no, no. Very understanding people, mix them. Mix the oldest person in the organization, you know. Mix the most quiet person in that organization. Mix this girl, girl that is so shouty in that organization, you know, and friendly and everywhere and everywhere. And then now the HR and you as the manager or, or the director. Then have a sit down. What do you think about so and so? Because all these people come from different flexibility in their minds. Okay. So they will always say, ah, mpe tu chance. Ana kuanga tu ivo. Ama ntamongelesha. Or we will do this. You see such kind of things before you start calling that individual to your office. At least have that communication. If it is a disciplinary panel, after some time now, call this person on board and tell this person, we have learned this and this, please. We're asking you to kind of improve. We like your energy in this sector and this sector, but is it possible you turn down? Give people chances. I am always not of the opinion to fire people. No, give people chances and then win from their strengths, all right? Now, half salary. Half salary might bring a lot of temptations. One, this employee will not concentrate in your employment because he or she wants to make up that half salary that he or she is losing, okay? It doesn't normally work, all right? Just have disciplinary ways of dealing with this person. And then firing. Mm -mm. 
Firing is not the best solution, but may God give you wisdom as an organization leader, as a manager, and as a HR. And I always say, my friend, don't be harsh on people. There is tomorrow. <laughs> okay? Now, number four in employee relations. Number four is offer career development. Some of us have benefited from this big time. Reason being, we work in an organization and we ask for study time. We say, I go for part-time classes from five. So the, your employer will say, okay, fine. Then you can leave by 4.30 such that you don't get late. Now, that is what I'm talking about when I say offer career development. Number two, let me not just give you the rough, the, the roughly, but organization and companies that encourage career growth always tend to benefit by the growth that that employee is getting somewhere. The employee comes with ideas. The employee comes with so-and-so. And you know, this make, is made so successful when the employee is locked in a contract within the organization. You have a three-year contract, then the employee will know, by this time I'll be graduating and I'll still be working here. So this employee will be giving you tips, ideas in the meetings of what he or she is learning because I'm very sure it's an advanced course. Okay, now, employees get motivated and uh, well-equipped. And you also get the workforce. I've talked about that. The managers, the HODs, and the HRs should be very keen to recognize also talents and such needs. The organization might also want to sponsor someone to go for a particular course because this person is really good. If only that person can get an organization uh, sponsorship. You know, the organization can sponsor you to go for higher studies. It is there in PR and it works. You come and maintain this smart person in your organization, of course, under a contract, a locked contract, so that it cannot be breached. Now, also, you get the, the most out of that employee because you, you're winning the trust of that employee and the loyalty. Now, when you have or you've allowed such, then you understand that such employees will always ask for weeks to go and do the exams either two weeks so always allow them exam off days that is two weeks if if, if you agree that they cut them from the, your leave days fine but look at it this person is studying maybe three semesters if it is a crash course in a year so imagine two weeks that is 10 days plus of exam in the first semester 10 days 10 days that person will have exhausted even the leave days. So why can't you be lenient enough to understand that when this person is with us, he or she performs 100%. So if it is exam, give exam days off, but do not cut from the leave days, okay? Now, allow loans, fees, you know, we've had some good organizations where you go and ask for a loan, and then because you're locked in a good contract, the period of the loan will be payable by the, within that time for you to pay fees, well and good. If the organization decides to sponsor you, well and good. And then allow project days. There are some times where learning institutions have projects and they go far away. So when this employee comes and says we, need, we have a project somewhere and somewhere, give time. Now, appreciate them during their graduation. Once an employee has graduated, appreciate them. Send a graduation card, you know, send some kabahasha, send something nice. The other thing also, when this employee brings that certificate, <laughs> it means salary increments. Yeah, because the stages and stages and stages and stages are always have to be honored according to the employee uh, governmental laws. Okay, so at least honor that certificate. Motivate them, you know, encourage them. The other thing also, create capacity building. If you feel like you cannot sponsor them, but there is a way they lack some training somewhere, offer capacity building. You know, do benchmarking where the best places to go and do capacity building to improve on certain skills. All right. And also set up professional development uh, plan. So you know how many people need this professional. If it is this department this time, the next department the other day, have a professional development plan. The other thing, consider tuition reimbursements program. Thus build more trust. So consider if this employee wants this particular fees, and you feel like loans, no, you don't give loans, then you can do a salary cut, at least at some particular period, then you can offer such styles of loans, and then provide career advancements opportunities. Now, if this person has studied, you know, and has gotten the, the certificates, promote them, promote them. Now, 
Some may not have gone to school for studies or anything, but they are working and they are really doing well and everything. Promote them. That's a form of career development. Promote that person. There are some people who can see in an organization for more than three years. No one promotes them. That is unhealthy. If one has been there for two to three years, kindly promote. Kindly Yes. So that is point number four. That is point number two, three, and four in terms of ensuring employee relations. Uh, we are still having a part three where we are going to be talking about how to help your employee be happy in achieving employee relations. From me, the PR Guru Show, I hope you are learning something and you are sharing something. Share as much as possible to your organization leaders, your, uh, your fellow employees, your team members, and get the best out of this. My name is Janet Kiriso. Thank you for the PR uh, Guru Show, the production, Wala Production, and you for always viewing. See you in part three.